What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to learn about using a app store overlay view in SwiftUI. So here's the app we're going to put together. We've got this pretty large button here. So I'll go ahead and tap on it. And if you take a look at the bottom of the screen, it's a, a kind of a dummy placeholder because Apple doesn't actually show you live app store data here, but we've got this little overlay view that shows up and it's much easier to see in dark mode actually. But in your real world application, this is really Really great to show upsells for some of your other apps or you know if you want to prompt the user to download something the name of the app will show here the developer and of course the icon and we, we just have it tied to our button here so we'll take a look at how to bring this into your application how to hook it up to some state to show and hide the overlay and all that good stuff so if that sounds good make sure you start by destroying the like button down below hit subscribe if you're into iOS and want to stick around let's get into the video all right, we're going to get started by opening up Xcode and creating a new project. We're going to stick with the app template under iOS. And let's go ahead and give this project a name of upsell app. Make sure your language is Swift and both your lifecycle and uh, interface are Swift UI. Go ahead and continue. Save the project wherever you'd like. I'll toss it onto my desktop here. And the first thing we're going to go ahead and do once Xcode decides to stop being slow is we're going to jump into our assets here and I've got a app icon here it is for Instagram you can do whichever one you want but I'm gonna go ahead and drag that guy in since we're gonna use it in our UI then we're gonna go into our content view where we'll remain for the rest of the video I'll change my preview device to a 12 Pro Max and we'll go ahead and expand our Xcode window and let's wait for our uh, preview to load up on the right hand side here so cool looking at pretty good. The next thing we're going to do is we want to have a button basically to allow our user to see a upsell. So maybe in your app you have other apps and you want to have a button saying like download my other app or download this app or that app, right? Basically an upsell for your other apps. So since we brought in uh, the Instagram app already, we're going to upsell that. So let's go ahead and create a navigation view. I'm going to throw in a V stack and then we're basically going to have a uh, action and uh, label on this button here. So let's go ahead and fill this out. So instead of using a text label, you could use the label object, which takes in uh, two view builders of their own. Uh, it can take in a string as well as a uh, image name. So we can go ahead and say the title here is going to be let's call it Instagram and the uh, image is going to be a string also which I think we also called Instagram so let's go ahead and hit resume let's make sure that's gonna pop up so so there it is it's a little large so I think there's also another label option here where you can actually supply the text and image yourself let's see if I can find it this one right here text and icon so this first one is going to be download now maybe we'll say download now and this next one is going to be an image and it's going to be named Instagram, but we're gonna supply um, some modifiers on here just to make things uh, a little nicer in terms of our UI. So let me go ahead and line break this and that. And let's go ahead and uh, first of all, make this resizable. We're gonna set a corner radius of maybe like, I don't know, eight or seven on it. So it's not obnoxiously big and uh, pointy. Let's also go ahead and fix up that aspect ratio to go ahead and fit. And I'm also going to set a fixed frame width and height of maybe, I don't know, like 55. Pick whatever number you want. Not really relevant for the video in terms of what size it is. But there is our download button. I'm also going to go and change the foreground color of our text to be color.white. And let's finally go ahead and give our whole label here a background color. After we add some padding, we'll say background color is color dot maybe black. And there is our pretty nifty button and we can actually even say go ahead and clip clip to a shape and we're going to clip it to a capsule. So here's our handy dandy button. When we tap on it, we want to actually see a prompt to download this app. Now, how do we actually bring that in? So we first need to bring in store kit. So we're going to go ahead and import it. We also need to have a property wrapper for a state, which is going to show us uh, rather hold a state if uh, the, you know, app store overlay is presented. So we're going to go ahead and uh, say app store overlay 
presented and by default it's going to be false of course because we don't want to start off with it presented because that would just be weird and when our button is actually tapped in our action down here we're going to go ahead and uh, just toggle this state now how do we actually show this overlay well we have a modifier for it so it is called a app store overlay shocker very creative apple we'll go ahead and pass in is presented and this guy down here is pretty simple we actually need to create one of these sk uh, overlays here and we can actually get rid of all this nonsense this is line break that and we're gonna create a SK overlay with a app configuration and this gets created with a app identifier uh, and a position so this identifier here should basically be your app ID which you can find by either you know just googling and looking at the URL of different apps uh, I'm going to pass in something random, or you can find it by going into App Store Connect. This right here, you can either show this on the bottom or bottom raised. Uh, I'll show it on the bottom. Let's see what that looks like. And I believe in the preview for the simulator, it shows you some like dummy UI since it's not connecting to the App Store. But let's go ahead and hit this run button to get our live preview, and I'm going to tap on this. And we see down here that it actually shows us uh, App Store and it shows us developer preview. It's very lightly colored, so it's a little hard to see. But in your actual application, you would see this, uh, you know, fill in with the app icon for which you passed in the ID. It would show, you know, the app's name as well as in this case, it would show Facebook because they publish Instagram. But uh, but yeah, that's how you can get this kind of like prompt to go ahead and show an upsell at the bottom of your application. So you don't even actually need to have a button to track, uh, trigger this presented. You could go ahead and just manually, um, or automatically rather, show that overlay based on some state. We just used a button here for the sake of demo. But um, let's say like you have an app and uh, you need to open up a link. Maybe you have another browser app and before the user gets pushed to Safari, you could say, you could show one of these components and say, hey, wait a sec, go download my app. So uh, you definitely have that option. The other thing I'll look at really quickly is bottom raised to see what that looks like. So we'll tap on this again. And now we can see that it's basically the same thing, but it's as the name implies, just raised up a little bit more. But yeah, that is a app store overlay uh, in a nutshell. So the other thing I'll do here, just because it's bugging me, I'm gonna increase the width on the uh, label here for aesthetic purposes. Let's go ahead and let's make sure we can actually see it. So let's see, 200, maybe 300, there it goes, nice and wide. And we'll change the color on here too. Let's go with a nice purple because we're in a good mood today. But there, there you have it. That's all I've got for you guys today. Fairly straightforward and short video. App Store overlays, pretty cool in Swift UI. You could do this in UI Kit as well, but the amount of effort needed to do this is pretty trivial. So I super encourage y'all to go and take a look at this. If you enjoyed the video, definitely don't forget to smash that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm. Make sure to hit subscribe if you're into iOS and would like to stick around for future videos. And absolutely don't forget to leave any thoughts you've got down in the comments or video suggestions or if you just want to say hi. Always love hearing from you guys. It's honestly the my favorite part of doing this video is reading comments and replying to all of y'all. So thanks again for watching. I'll see you in the next one.